Good afternoon, everybody. This is DJ Dr. D. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, today I'm going to be cooking uh, baby back ribs. I'm going to use Smithfield ribs. I am going to use a rub on it. It's called Memphis Style Barbecued Rub. So I'm going to take what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the juice off this. I'm going to take the skin off the back of it and I will show you. Now you always want to take the skin off the back of the baby back ribs. What it does, it makes them more tender. And I will show you how you take that skin off. What you do is grab a hold of the back of it, start pulling it off. I do this before I start either barbecuing my ribs or basting them and putting them in the oven. So this is how you pull your skin off. And if you have a hard time trying to pull the skin off, go and take a knife up underneath like this and this will help pull the skin. Like I said, you always want to pull this skin off. Today is Valentine's Day. Instead of going out to eat, I decided to make barbecue ribs at home for the mister. This is Valentine's Day dinner for him. And when you go to buy baby back ribs, baby back ribs are a lot better than the the pork ribs, regular pork ribs. Uh, okay, I got all the skin off. You can see it here. Um, I did uh, cut these in fours. That's I always cut baby back ribs in fours because today is Valentine's Day, and I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Memphis rub on both sides of this. So. Um, I would have went out to eat today, but it's cut with the COVID. I'd rather eat at home. So here, I'm going to show you how to do this. The Memphis rub. I'll start with the end one. You don't want to put a lot on it because it'll make it real salty. You just want to kind of rub it in. Rub it in deep into it. I rub it, always rub it on the backside, give it that extra flavor. So you can see it there. I, I kind of like rub it in on the sides as well. Once I get these done, they will be very tender. What I'm going to do is this rub, once I get this rub on them, I'm going to put them in the a, in a refrigerator for about an hour. Then I'll take them out. And I will bake them in the oven for a little while. Then I will pull them out. I will pull them out of that juice. And stick them on another piece of foil. And I will barbecue them. So this gets, it gets a double, double layer on it. But once in the, uh, in the summertime, when I do them on the grill, what I do is I will put this rub on them and put them in the refrigerator for a little bit. Then I will take them out. I will stick them in the oven for about a half hour. Then I will pull them out. Then I will turn around and take them and put them on the barbecue grill and cook them until they're completely cooked. As you can see there, see how it is? I'm getting it deep down in the Memphis rub. These are very tender. And I will also, it should be showing a finished once they're finished tonight, I'm going to cook these with a baked potato. And I think I'm going to have asparagus with it with a little bit of butter and a little bit of garlic in it. There'll be plenty of leftovers. This will probably be dinner, dinner for tomorrow evening as well. Okay. As you can see now, it's all the all the um, Memphis rub is in, uh, deep down in it. I'm gonna stick these in the uh, refrigerator for a while, and I'll be back. Okay, now these been in the refrigerator for an hour. What I have here is the uh, Memphis rub. It's deep down inside the uh, pork ribs. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the oven on 350, 
And then I'm gonna put these in an, uh, the oven for at least 45 minutes. In the okay, I pulled my ribs from the oven. Now I'm, I'm barbecuing them, sticking barbecue sauce on them. Um, I always do all sides of my ribs with the barbecue sauce, the tops, bottom, the sides. Here. What I'm using is uh, Sweet Baby Ray's original barbecue sauce. Very good and tasty. I like to get this on there nice and heavy. I brush mine on after once I get the barbecue sauce on so I can get all the sides, like I said. Okay. Just flip these babies back over. Okay, let's put some more barbecue sauce on them to give it that little uh, taste. Okay. See, I'm going to brush them again. Get it all over the place on the side of the ribs. Okay. Now, I want to get you a little closer to show you the ribs, what they look like. There you go. You can see it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these in the oven, uh, let it open the foil, and I'm going to cook it for about another 45 minutes. Okay, people, this is the finished product of my baby back ribs. What I use is the Memphis uh, rub on it. You know, I put it in the refrigerator for an hour, took it back out, stuck it in the oven for 45 minutes, and then pulled it out and stuffed the barbecue sauce on all sides, stuffed it back in the oven for 45 minutes again, and then this is the finished product for Valentine's Day dinner for my mister tonight. I've got a baked potato with it, with asparagus. The asparagus has a little bit of butter and garlic with it. So this is uh, dinner for this evening. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Once again, this is DJ Dr. D, and until next time, you have a wonderful evening.